I guess I need to put glass over the whole thing. Because for some reason these guys are still kind of getting out. Now, if, if they get close enough to me here, I believe they will get uh, chopped up in my grinder. Because I had that happen um, while I was offline. Because I had one that uh, just jumped, jumped just close enough and got sucked into the grinder. <coughs> but it doesn't look like it's happening right now. Which is too bad. So let's see, just looking to see how things are going here. Everything looks like it's doing just fine. Alright. Huh. Look like those guys actually jumped on top of each other there. Alright, come here, slime a lime. Uh no, I don't want that there. Thank you. I don't really need the slime balls. Let's see. Let's put that in there. For some reason, there's a difference between these two slime plant seeds. These are ones that I believe were picked up by the grinder, and these two were picked up by myself. By me. So, I don't know. I don't know exactly why they're different. But, um, okay. So, one of the, uh, I did figure out that uh, you can use... Uh, X utilities transfer nodes and transfer pipes to auto feed your culinary generator. So any of the generators should be able to be auto fed into. Um, so that is actually an option, and this house is really starting to look butchered. So that reminds me of something that I need to make. Um, I happen to have some cobalt over here. Let's grab one piece of cobalt, and we're going to stick it in there and make sure my glass production is turned off. Good. I was doing some more glass, so I've got a couple of... Uh, I've got almost four stacks of uh, clear glass now. So what I want to make is I need to make a new, brand new hatchet. Because I don't have a hatchet. I've got my axe, which is fine if I want to take down... Oh no, I don't have an axe either. That's the other thing I need to make. Um, and that's going to require... Did I, I already made the axe head, so I just need the uh, rest of the obsidian to go with that. Which shouldn't be a problem, I just need to go ahead and get it done. Uh, let's see, so for the hatchet, what kind of a handle do I have sitting around? Anything? Um, I guess I'll just use the green slime. It's not as good as the blue, but it's not really going to matter. So, in fact, let me go ahead and make uh, another piece of moss here. And let's take the paper out of there. Slime crystal and a tool rod pattern. And is this thing melted yet? Yes, it is. And pour that out. There we go. So, uh, the hatchet you and you leaf killer I like because I use it to chop leaves very very quickly so next thing we're gonna do is just give it a quick simple upgrade I should have made it mark two huh I don't know if I can change that nope it's already been named that's fine I don't think I can change it nope once you name it it's named okay so leaf killer mark two is up and running, which is good because I'm definitely going to need to get rid of some stuff. Okay, put the paper away. So the next thing that I want to get working on is I want to expand this over here. And uh, let's see, it needs to be... I could start moving what little bit of... Uh, thermal expansion I have, but I would really like to get going with some pneumaticraft because I've never used it. By Snow. <laughs> oh, that was cool, doggy. He needs a name. Make sure you guys uh, give me suggestions for a name. 
Oh, um, I guess that thing does uh, does get snow on top. That's fine. All right, so let's take a look at some pneumaticraft stuff. Um, I think it's about time we uh, we started taking a look at that. So, oops. Oh, so at p e u. There we go. So there's some pressure tubes. Um, I believe we need to start with a pressure chamber wall and a valve and a couple of windows. So for this we need compressed iron ingots. How do we get compressed iron ingots? Well, we can do it in a pressure chamber. <clears throat> And that looks like that's, well, that's not the only way. There is another way to do it. Ingot refined iron. Hmm. Okay. So we need, we need compressed iron. That means we need some, uh, some TNT. All right. Uh, let's see. I need some gunpowder. Let's see, how much gunpowder do I need? Five for one? Okay. Hmm. And then four sand. And how much iron am I going to need for this? Um. Well, I'm going to need quite a bit, aren't I? So, pressure chamber wall... I believe this has to be a 3x3x3, three by three by three. so I need a total of, uh, let's see, 9, 18, so I guess I'll, I'll need enough to do this, gosh, like five times? Ouch. Um, I need to do like a full stack of iron. That hurts. I need a stack of iron and I need to blow it up with TNT. That just sounds so painful. I really don't like when mods make you do things like this. Okay, there's my TNT. Let's grab a lever. And let's go find a nice safe place to do this. During the daytime. I suppose I could uh, maybe throw it on the ground and have a creeper explode next to me. Um, but that probably wouldn't make me very happy. And I'm not going to get all of the... Uh, all of my iron, I believe. Yes, give me your rotten flesh. Give me all your flesh. And make it rotten. Okay. Um, so, I guess what we'll do is... Uh, we'll do it right here. Um, we got somebody else coming who needs to die. Yay! Trying to use up the sword. Uh, I got a couple of swords from some monster hunters. Unbreaking 2? Eh, that's okay. This one here is pretty nice, though. Sharpness 4, knockback 2, fire aspect 2, and unbreaking 3. Seems, uh... Seems rather strong, doesn't it? Okay, so let's drop some iron, and if if this doesn't work for some reason, um, I'm gonna cheat the iron back in for myself because this is this is scary. Um, that's a full stack of iron. And we get a total of 49. Uh, compressed iron ingots. 
Ugh. Oh, that's so painful. But it, it, it does get better uh, once you get the Pneumaticraft uh, tech stuff going. Mm, how are we doing here? This thing looks pretty good. I'm going to pull that out because um, I don't want it to use up any more than it already is. Um, what do we got there? Alright, so just in case it goes beyond all of this, I'm going to throw that in there. <coughs> Make some more plastic. Alright, so we need some pressure chamber walls. We need windows and we need valves, right? Um, I really need to do some more research on this, I think. Pneumatic door base. Uh, oh, yeah, that's for something else. Okay, so let's see. Let's get... Um, we know we need a valve, so I need some pressure tubes. Two of these with a piece of glass. Okay. Two of you with a piece of glass. Okay, there's some pressure tubes. Uh, we'll make a set of these. With a piece of glass. And then this one here. Let's make one of one set of these. And then the rest, I guess. Pressure chamber walls. One. Two. Three. Ouch. Okay, so let's start working on a pressure chamber. And let's see. Um, let's put in a set of doors somewhere. So I've got some stone bricks here. So I think I'll do something like... Um, oh, I think I want to mirror this on this side. So, how long is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I can actually get rid of these. Uh, where's my shovel? Or my excavator, actually, because Yes, it can actually do this kind of soil. You just have to start with it. Okay, go unbreaking. All right. Um, well, I guess I could go ahead and get this done as well. Certainly don't need all of this uh, snow, but eh. All right, that should be good enough. Let me go ahead and get uh, this in here. So it's going to come to like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, yep. Went one too far, but that's all right. So I'll end up putting the uh, uh, consecrated soil down here. Yep, because I want it around here. So that if anything comes around by my base, it will get chewed up. There we go. Darn snow. So, and I'm making it uh, three wide around just because that seemed like a, uh, a good number. That way, uh, anything trying to hide underneath my uh, uh, the edge here will definitely get uh, get burned up because they'll try to hide from the sun 
and in turn they'll get burned by the consecrated soil. Okay, so back to this here real quick. And so, I'm going to go ahead and leave a one block width around it to start with. Okay, let's grab our windows. One window, two. I don't think it's going to matter. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't think it's going to matter what direction it's facing. Um, because once it gets built, it uh, should be fine. So this is our pressure chamber valve. You know, I'm going to want that on the back side, I think. Let's put it over here. So this is the valve here. Let's put this here. And I will go ahead and I'll turn these just to make it look nice and pretty. All right, so we'll put you there like that, and this one here like this one here like this. This one has to be empty. I know that. And then I need well, I'm definitely going to need nine, ten more pressure chamber walls. Though one of them can be there's some kind of a special one that lets you put stuff in. And actually, I need two of those, don't I? Not the omnidirectional hopper. It is. Um, <clears throat> where is that thing? Pressure chamber interface I need. So I'm going to need a couple of hoppers. I need two of these. Pneumatic cylinders require plastic. Rain plant seeds. Okay, I need to find some rain plants and a cannon barrel. Okay, lots of weird stuff. Um, rain plant seeds. Where am I going to find those? I don't think I have any of those, do I? More slime? Come here, slimy guy. I need rain plant seeds. Mm, that's not you. Okay, good. So, um, I may need to go run around and find some of those rain plant seeds, huh? Okay, uh, because I definitely am going to need to do that, and I'm going to need to m make some more, um, iron. Uh, let's take the pulverized iron. Okay, so this thing looks like it uh, finished what it was working on. So let me go ahead and throw a stack of pulverized iron in there. Because I'm going to need to go make some more TNT and do some more compressed iron. Not happy. Not happy at all. So, let's get some more gunpowder. One of the few times I ever use gunpowder for anything. And even less often that I use TNT for anything. Alright, let's go ahead and make it daytime. Oh, let's see. How much uh, how much iron do I have in here right now? 58. All right, I'll go ahead and I'll wait until... Uh, I'm just going to do a, a full second stack. I don't really see any reason not to. But I guess while that's going, let's go see if we can find some rain seeds. Uh, so we pretty much just need to look around for... 
pneumaticraft plants. And let's see what we can find. 